Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I hope you're all doing well. Today we are back with one of my favourite videos to film every month and that's my Come Book Shopping With Me video. It's just because I get to buy books really and you guys seem to like them following me along and watching me buy books. So I'm going to be looking off to this side because I'll be looking at my laptop buying some books. We're going to hit up Waterstones because one of my 2021 goals is to boycott Amazon basically not use it as much to buy books because not only do they not need any more money, um, every time I seem to order books off Amazon they come damaged and I'm fed up with having to return books and wait for new copies of the same book to arrive undamaged so we're just avoiding Amazon this year so we're going to be hitting up Waterstones. On the contrary to that, Waterstones tend to be a little bit more expensive so my usual come book shopping videos where they feature six or seven books sometimes are going to be going down to like three or four just because the normal stores are a little bit more expensive, but nevertheless, let's hop into it and record my screen. So here we are at Waterstones. I already know what my first book is going to be, and I can't believe this book completely went under my radar. It actually came out in November last year. And if you didn't know, which I doubt you do because I don't talk about it a lot on my channel, I am a massive Maze Runner fan, uh, the book series written by James Dashner, and James Dashner released a <laughs> novella for that series back in November. I had no clue about it, but now I'm very, very eager to read it. Newt is my favourite character, so this is a story I've been waiting for for so long. They touch on Newt's background in The Fever Code, which is another novella of that series, but having a whole novella just for new, I'm very, very excited for, so I'm going to add that straight to my basket. Crank palettes. And if you know this whole story of the Maze Runner, I think you can figure out kind of the synopsis of Crank Palace, but I'm not going to tell you guys because it would spoil absolutely everything. Um, yeah, I am going to order this now. It says we can order this usually dispatched within 10 working days so I'm assuming they don't have it readily available but when you order it they will then order it to their warehouse. I feel like that's how they work it. They don't have a cover so I'll show the cover in a second. It's not very interesting. It matches the rest of the generic Maze Runner book covers but we're going to add it straight to my basket because I definitely want it. <laughs> so to look at the cover... This is the cover, not very exciting, but I'm very, very excited to read it. Yay. Um, I can't wait for that to arrive. I just don't want to spend 15, 16 quid on a 168 page novella. So I'll wait for the paperback to come in. This is where Amazon comes in more useful because they tend to have a wider range of books available. So nevertheless, we'll wait for the paperback to come in. The next book I want to pick up is a book that I have already read and that is Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. I literally finished it yesterday morning and I really, really enjoyed it and I just want a physical copy of it. And if you didn't know, Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson follows our main character Jade who has grown up in a poorer community being black and she goes to school in the more white privileged side of town. So she's trying to navigate that and she gets put on a scholarship program called Woman to Woman where she gets given a mentor and each week they get together and kind of the mentor just helps Jade kind of get on her feet, discover who she is and that she can speak up for herself and just gives her more confidence. And I just really, really enjoyed this book. Jade's like main interest is arts and crafts and doing collages and I learned a lot about black history in this book as well and I just think it was really beautifully written and I just want a physical copy of it because I enjoyed the book a lot. I gave it four stars. It'll be in my January wrap up but I just want a physical copy of it so so I can remember the book. So let's have a look for piecing me together. There it is. In paperback. That's always good. So I'm going to add that to my basket. So now I have two books in my basket. The next book I am interested on in picking up is a non-fiction. I'm trying to read more non-fiction this year for sure. And this past couple of weeks, I've been reading a book called Philosophy by Elizabeth Day, which is a handbook of how to turn your fails into successes. And Elizabeth Day has a full novel out. This one I just read was like a few, like 112 page like handbook, very, very small. Um, and she has a full book out all about the same topic of failing and turning it into your successes. And the book is called How to Fail. And I'm just really interested to read more from Elizabeth Day. And I think she kind of spoke very well on the topic. There's a lot of trigger warnings in the book that I did read, but 
I'm very, very excited and interested in picking up her like full novel. So that is called How to Fail. Here it is, you can get the paperback or the hardback. We're gonna go for the paperback. <laughs> Although this um, how to fail at flirting looks interesting. How to fail at flirting. Let a guy buy her a drink, tick. Try something new, tick. Hook up with someone, not quite. I feel, uh, is it just me or a lot of books based on like bucket list tropes at the minute? Like having to do things to complete kind of your life. For one night only, Naya's friends convince her to shed her frumpy cardigan for an evening on the town for once she'll forget about her demanding job and with the help of her new to-do list practice flirting with a charming stranger. Jake might be what Naya, Na Naya, is it Naya, Naya, never knew she was looking for. He's sexy, he makes her laugh and he challenges Naya to build, rebuild her lost confidence but the best things in life are never easy and the complicated strings around dating Jake might just destroy her career. She has two options. She can protect her professional reputation and return to her old life, or she can flirt with the unknown and stay with the person who makes her feel like she's finally living again. I'm just, bucket, lo bucket list trope books for me, just a very hit or miss. Um, so I'm gonna not pick that book up. <laughs> Let's go to my Goodreads and see what I've put in my recently interested in list. I go to this and resort to this list a lot. Um, it's where I put all the books I find through booktube or book twitter or bookstagram that I think sound interesting and then I put them in, compile them into this list and then when I come to buy books I know kind of where to go for books that interested me. So I really really want, really really want to read Black Buck um, by Matteo Ascapore. Ascapore. Um, I'm butchering that name completely but I am really, really interested in reading it. It's kind of a bit of a fiction slash self-help book about a black guy who works in Starbucks and is trying to build his life to become better um, and be better. And I'm really, really interested in reading it. However, it's literally not available in the UK whatsoever. It came out on January 12th, I saw, so I thought I'd be able to get it then, but it's not anywhere. It's not on Waterstones, it's not on Amazon, apart from if you pay like the hardback price of like 18 99 which I'm not gonna do. Um, so I'll keep on the lookout for that, but I do really, 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 really want to read Black Buck by Matteo Ascapore. Is Rescue Me out yet? This was one of my most anticipated releases of 2021, and I have a feeling that it might be out. This is about um, two people who meet at like a rescue dog centre, and they share custody of the dog, and then the dog makes them fall in love. It sounds really cute. Rescue me. Not reuse me. How do you spell rescue me? <laughs> rescue me. It's just gonna be in hardback, isn't it? Yeah, oh, and it's coming soon. The 21st, okay, so it is out in January, just not yet, the 21st of January, that one comes out. Very interested in picking up this one too, though. Let's go back to my Goodreads. Okay, <laughs> I think I know which book I'm going to put into my basket next. There's so many that I want to pick up. Writers and Lovers by Lily King is another one, but it's only out in hardback and I'm waiting for the paperback. Um, that's the only issue with public, like publishing companies releasing hardback first. Not everyone wants a hardback and then you have to wait like another six or seven months for the paperback to come out. Very frustrating. Um, but I do really, really, really want to read Writers and Lovers by Lily King. But the book I think I'm going to pick up is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernard... Ber something? <laughs> I'll get it up on the screen in a minute. But if you didn't know, my previous video was a readathon announcement. So if you haven't seen that, highly recommend you go check it out. I am hosting a readathon with my booktube friend M from A Little Writer M, where we're kind of basing the entire readathon around book recommendations and we're going to recommend you books or you can get recommendations from YouTube or booktube or bookstagram or you can get recommendations from your friends and family and you basically just read books that have been recommended to you across a weekend at the end of the month. Um, so if you want more information about that, I'll leave the video linked up above and down below for you guys. But 
One of the books that kind of keeps popping up and I keep seeing on my radar is Girl, Woman, Other. So I think I might pick that one up for the readathon. It might be a bit too heavy for a readathon, but I still want to pick it up and put it onto my physical TBR. So let's have a look for Girl, Woman, Other. There it is. Where'd it go? Where'd it go, Girl, Woman, Other? It was there just a minute ago. It wasn't just me. There it is. Yeah, so we're gonna add this to my basket as well. Bernadine, I think. Add that. So that's four books <laughs> and it's come to like 31 quid already, which is a lot of money. Um, but I think I might leave it there because the books are expensive and I'm trying to uh, save to move out and buy a house with my boyfriend and stuff so I need to definitely try and cut back on my book buying so maybe these won't be monthly anymore but I just love buying books so who knows we'll be back here next month I'm sure I'm sure of it I always put aside money every month to buy books specifically because I can't live without buying books who can <laughs> so I feel like I want to put one more in, but then that's like 40 quid. Let's just see if anything else takes my fancy. Is Iggy Stardust and me out yet? Because I saw that spoken about on a booktube channel. I can't remember who spoke about it, but it, she made it sound really, really interesting. What's it called? Iggy Stardust and me. Hardback only, probably. Yeah, hardback only, currently unavailable to order. Okay, that's fine. There's a sign to leave it here. I'll leave this video here. A bit shorter than my usual come book shopping with me's, but I really hope you enjoyed it nevertheless and maybe made you intrigued to pick up the four books that I've put in my basket. Don't worry, I will be purchasing them. I just don't like doing my bank details and stuff on screen for you guys. So I will be picking them up. And if you want to see them when they arrive, I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel called Reading Rambles with Rachel or something along the lines of that where I literally just sit down in front of my camera and talk about all things bookish, bookish news I'm excited for, recent books I've brought, where these books will probably be featured, anything that's been added to my TBR recently that I'm really interested in reading, just anything that's bookish that can't really fit in its own video I'll be putting in this new series so have a look out for that it will be coming soon my first one it's a new 2021 series I want to do so have a look out for that on my channel and subscribe so you don't miss it but without further ado I will leave you to it I really really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a massive thumbs up if you did if you don't know what to comment leave a stack of books or a bag of money in the comments down below just to let me know that you've been here and I really, really appreciate all your support and make sure to subscribe and comment and do all that fun stuff. And without further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.